Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to explore the physical meaning of the wave equation. What is a wave equation? What does it represent? Well, stepping back a few steps, we go back to the Schrodinger equation for a particle with mass m in a single dimension. And this is it here. A Schrodinger equation is like a differential equation that operates on the wave equation. The wave equation should satisfy the differential equation or should satisfy the Schrodinger equation. The wave equation describes something about a particle that is subjected to physical constraints, subjected to forces, to potential energy, to uh, kinetic energy, and we're trying to find something about the particle. We're trying to find some information about the particle. So how does a wave equation play a role? So first of all, the wave equation, which is written like this, which in this case, since we're dealing with one dimensional case, the, had, is a function of position and time. And when we plug that into the Schrodinger equation, it should satisfy that Schrodinger equation, just like a solution should satisfy a differential equation. We found a wave equation that satisfies the Schrodinger equation, that is for a single particle in a single dimension environment, and here it is. We wrote it as some constant times e to the i kx minus omega t. Now the kx minus omega t looks very familiar. We can see that in readily in any sort of wave equation, but the i kind of throws us off because i makes it not a real quantity. Of course, we can also write this in the form of the cosine and the sine, but again, we have this i in there, the square root of negative one, which makes it a non-real solution or non-real equation. So for a particle that had no net force acting on it, and assuming then that the potential energy, which we call V in this equation, is constant, so we write as V sub naught, the Schrodinger equation then reduces to this format. So we showed that in a previous video that we took the Schrodinger equation like this, and we could write it like this if we assume a particle that has a constant potential and that has no forces acting on it. And we also showed that it then reduces to the classic equation in classical mechanics where this represents the kinetic energy, that represents the potential energy, together adds up to the total energy. But what is that wave equation? When we write this format of the wave equation, what are we really signifying? It turns out that this equation is not real. In other words, it does not represent a measurable classic wave function. It doesn't represent a function. We can just assume that the wave, the wave equation represents a wave, or even that the particle moves like a wave. It does not do that at all. So what does that wave equation tell us? What do we get out of it? Well, if we put in a real value for x for position, a real value for time in a one-dimensional case, the wave equation allows us to do this very important thing. It allows us to calculate the probability of finding a particle in a particular location. The equation doesn't represent the probability, it just allows us a vehicle to calculate the probability. We'll show you how to do that later, but this is a really important aspect. The wave equation that we use in, in quantum mechanics does not represent a real wave, it does not represent a real quantity, it only allows us to come up with a means because in and by itself also doesn't tell us the probability of finding a particle in a particular location. It just allows us a means of doing so, and the technique will be explained in the next several videos. That's a really important thing about quantum mechanics, the Schrodinger equation, and the wave equation that satisfies the Schrodinger equation. It's kind of difficult to imagine that you come up with a wave equation, doesn't mean anything, but that's the way it is in quantum mechanics.